Hello everyone, in this video, I'm going to discuss the example for limits and continuity. Kali refers to the question, state the condition of continuity of a function f at the point x is equal to c. So there are three conditions. Condition number one, for the function f, c exists. Number two, limit x approaching c for the function fx exists. So the meaning here, limit exists, meaning that limit when x approaching c from the left for the function fx is equal to limit when x approaching c from the right for the function fx. So the value are the same. Then only we can consider the limit exists. Condition number three. The fc is equal to limit when x approaching c for the function fx. If the situation fulfills the three condition, then we can say fx is continuous and x is equal to c. Continue, Kali refers to b. A function f is defined by the situation given fx. So here we have the modulus. So Kali defined the modulus. We have the modulus x minus 2, which is equal to x minus 2, negative bracket x minus 2. With the domain x minus 2 greater or equal to 0, x minus 2 less than 0. So simplify the situation. So the modulus x minus 2 equals to x minus 2. Then we have negative bracket x minus 2. With the domain x greater or equal to 2, x less than 2. Then notice that we have the function in here, modulus x minus 2 over, we can factorize the situation for the denominator where we have x plus with the 5 multiply with x minus 2. So we have the situation x minus 2 over x plus 5, x minus 2, when the situation is x greater equals to 2. Another one, we have negative bracket x minus 2 over x plus with a 5, multiply with x minus 2, when the x is less than 2. So that is the definition for the modulus x minus 2. Kindly illustrate the situation in the real number line. So here we have negative 5 until 2. Then we have 2 until 3. So for the negative 5 until 2, where we have the 2 from the left. So from the left, meaning that we have to refer to this part. So we have to write the negative bracket x minus 2 over x plus 5 x minus 2. Because this function is less than 2. Another one, when x is equal to 2. So here we have the function when x equals to 2 is a 8. Then 3 from the left, we have the function a as well. And then equals to 3, we have a x plus with the b. So no function given from x greater than 3. So Kali refers to the question. The question mentions that the function fx is continuous and x equals to 2 and x is equals to 3. So find the limit when x approaching 2 from the left. So limit when x approaching 2 from the left for the function fx. So here we have limit when x approaching 2 from the left kindly refers to the number line where we have the situation negative x minus 2 over we have x plus with the 5 x minus 2. So we can simplify the situation limit when x approaching 2 from the left. So we have negative 1 over x plus with the 5. So continue if we substitute the 2 and we will have 1 over negative 7. So limit when x approaching 2 from the left for the function fx, the value of y approaching negative 1 over 7. Determine the value of the constant a and b. So as we all know, the mention set 2 is continuous. So meaning that limit when x approaching 2 for the function fx exists. When the mention exists, meaning that limit when x approaching 2 from the left for the function fx is equal to limit when x approaching 2 from the right for the function fx is the same. So for the left hand side, we have negative 1 over 7. For the right hand side, if it refers to the situation on the number line, 2 from the right, where we have limit when x approaching 2 from the right, we have the function a. So since it's a constant, if we substitute and we will have a is equal to negative 1 over 7. So continue. Since we have the a is equal to negative 1 over 7, so they will fulfill the continuity condition. So number 1, we have f3. Refers to the real number line, if it's a f3, we have a 
multiply with the 3 plus with the b. So f3 is equal to 3a plus with the b. As we all know, if we substitute the a where we have 3 is equal to 3 multiply with negative 1 over 7 plus with the b. So f3 is equal to negative 3 over 7 plus with the b. So that is the first condition. For the second condition, limit when x approaching 3 for the function fx exists. So when they say exists means that the limit x approaching 3 from the left and from the right are the same. So limit when x approaching 3 for the function fx approaching negative 1 over 7 for the value of y. So when they say continuous means that these both things are equals. So f3 is equal to limit when x approaching 3 for the function fx are the same. So here we have negative 3 over 7 plus with the b equals to negative 1 over 7. So we write the situation. So b will be equals to 3 over 7 minus 1 over 7. So b is equals to 2 over 7. If you are new here, kindly consider subscribing to this channel and share this video to your friend. Thank you so much for watching this video. Bye.